they bid me strike the lyre. So long, now mute and broken, but not a note can I waken, nor will my muse inspire. She stammers coldly and bubbles when tortured by my mind. She lies when she laughs and thrills as she lies in her lamentation. For in my sad isolation, my soul nor frolics nor feels. There was a time, this true, but now that time has vanished when indulgent love or friendship called me a poet too. Now of that time there lingers hardly a memory, as from a celebration, some mysterious refrain that haunts the ears will remain of the orchestra's actuation. As scars grown plant I seem uprooted from the Orient, where its perfume is the atmosphere and where life is a dream. O oh, land that is never forgotten, and this have taught me to sing. The birds with their melody, the cataracts with their force, and on the swollen shore, the murmuring of the sea. When in my childhood days, I could smile upon her sunshine. I felt in my bosom, seething, a fierce volcano ablaze. A poet was I, for I wanted with my verses, with my breath, to say to the swift wind, fly and propagate her renown. Praise her from zone to zone, from the earth up to the sky. I left her my native heart, a tree despoiled and shriveled, no longer repeats the echo of my old songs of mirth. I sailed across the vast ocean, craving to change my fate, not nothing in my madness, that instead of what I will, I sought the sea around me wroth, the specter of death and sadness, the dreams of younger hours, love, enthusiasm, desire, have been left there under the skies of that fair land of flowers. Oh, do not ask of my heart that languages, songs of love, for as without peace, I thread this desert of no surprises. I feel that my soul agonizes and that my spirit is dead.